So that's one of the main reasons that I went back to the plastic grinders. But the main one is, what's up everyone? Today I wanna to talk about why I went back to using cheap plastic grinders. Now I've always had loads of grinders, like you can see a few of them here. A lot of other ones I've had in the past that I've thrown away. I've always gone for the metallic shiny ones, nothing too expensive like Santa Cruz's or anything like that, but fair a bit of money spent on like the few you can see here. So why have I decided to go back to these old plastic couple of pound worth grinders that I used to use like 20 years ago? So one of the main issues that I have with all the metallic grinders I've had is they don't do a thin enough grind for me. I like my grind to be really, really dust thin. It just, I like it that way. It makes the consuming a lot more enjoyable for myself. So most of them, they do grind up okay, except this new one, the Head Chef Future, whatever it's called. Wow, that's a letdown. Like, honestly, if you wanna buy a grinder that chunks up your gear, that's the one. If you want a fine grind, stay away. Honestly, it is not a good grinder. It's not worth its money. If you like chunky bits and everything, yeah, fine. If not, stay away from it. It's got a flawed design. The teeth inside, if you look inside the grinder, there's these massive gaping holes. So when you're trying to grind up your, your herb, it just, chunks just fall through. If them holes were closed up and they had like little tiny holes and it didn't let the herb go through, it might have been a decent grinder, but it's a flawed design. So that's one of the main reasons that I went back to the plastic grinders. But the main one is cleaning. Like a plastic grinder, you can use it and you can consume every day, like two, three grams a day, and it will go for about a month, a month and a half, and it doesn't need a clean. With the metal ones, after three days, it needs either to go in under hot water or with alcohol to clean it. I just can't be bothered. I can't be bothered cleaning the grind every three, four days because it gets stuck and it's really hard to, to turn and to grind the herb. This, two twists, it's grinded really nice and thinly. It costs, what, £1.85, £2 each one now from Amazon. I don't remember clearly. I've got a link in the, in the description below. Nah, nothing like a little plastic grinder. The teeth are so sharp and close together that it grinds it perfectly and as well it doesn't stick together for a long long time i don't mind buying a grinder every month and a half for a couple of quid instead of spending 30 pound on something or 20 quid and having to clean it every three days it gets stuck after the first day you can see the little bits and it starts getting a little bit sticky then second day a bit worse and by the third or fourth day the, they need a clean you can't twist them around this the first week is amazing like you, it starts getting sticky after say week three and by week four or five, then yeah, it's really hard to turn. You've got to get rid of it because you can't clean these and get another one. That's it. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Now, thanks for watching. And if you like my content, please like, subscribe and watch the video on the screen above.